And so, speaking of platinum, I'm gonna watch him uh, on his rollout to mid here and see what he does. Alright, well, again, this is the map 2 of the lower bracket finals between Classic Mixup and Fully Torqued. Alright, so I'm on the Platinum Cam, he's doing his rollout here. Gully Wash has a pretty interesting rollout. It's got some mildly tricky jumps you have to hit. Nothing too hard for an experienced demo man, but it definitely you know, trips up a lot of newer players, as you can see. Um, Platinum, pretty quick to mid, I believe, uh, beating up here, but Pierre opted to go a different way. Platinum is on some pretty uncontested spam here, getting some decent damage off on these soldiers. But he's gonna drop, he forced to drop down, he's no health, he actually uh, blows himself up with his own pill. Ruin chasing Zebra into the drop down, causing Zebra to kill himself with a rocket jump. Uh, gonna switch over to YZ50, who has a full buff on the midpoint, and he's uh, cornering Pure, the last living member of Fully Torqued, and Pure is gonna go down here. as a white for Fully Torqued, as uh, Mixup stands in the midpoint with 60% uber advantage. Nice mid there, Lang. I think your mic is lagging a little bit there, but Classic Mixup came away, playing together with the heals. Looks like Classic Mixup now, 70% number advantage as they head towards the second point. Uh, YZ50 kind of clearing the way there for his team. Meanwhile, Enigma snuck into the lower, uh, the upper lobby there maybe it was, and he got taken down by Justin. That's going to give uh, Fully Torqued a one-man advantage here, but Fully Torqued still going to get the second point for free. Harbu has such a large advantage as they head towards last. Looking pretty grim here for uh, Fully Torqued. They're just going to wait for... Uh, they're not even going to wait for Enigma to spawn. Looks like Classic Mason just want to take it right in here before the sentry is set up. They take down the Fragile right away. That sentry is going to go down the TLR. And Classic Mason doing a nice job of cleaning up all these frags here. Zebra and gets an equalizer pick onto his Platinum, but it's not going to be enough here. And uh, Classic Mix Up take this first round so quickly, 1-0. Yeah, pretty easy round there for Mix Up. Uh, hopefully this doesn't set the tone for the rest of the match, as we definitely like to see close games here. Uh, but unfortunately, those kind of aren't the norm at LAN. Anyway, for this mid, I'm going to be uh, keep my eyes on Platinum for the start again. He's very quick to mid, uh, beating Pure by a couple seconds here. Uh, but he's getting locked out by the red team. A lot of early spam and aggression coming in from Zebra in there. I'm going to switch over to the Justin cam as he's taking a 1v1 on point here. He's trying to fight these scouts. Wow. He's actually uh, fighting a soldier right now, but Justin is super low on health. But yeah, mix up just really kind of cleaning up. Uh, fully torqued. Uh, no one on mix-up even going down and pure, the only person to survive. Um, yeah, YZ50 did a really nice 3k, and the classic mix-up just playing so tight here on mid. It's really difficult for the bombing soldiers from uh, fully torqued to do anything productive. Looks like Harblue now 80% advantage once again, and it looks like they want to begin taking this into last. And uh, any moment now this will be happening. Meanwhile, Seagull on the, or sorry, Zebra and from the riverside tried to get that force from Harblue. Doesn't get it to go. The Uber comes in from Classic Mixup underneath. Why is he they getting a pick onto Sean, but Seagull going down here as well. A level 1 sentry actually doing a decent amount of work before going down by the spawn door, but still. Classic Mixup just rolling their way in here. Uh, Platinum and Enigma finish that one off and make it 2-0. This is a really quick map here, Lang. Yeah, that was a very, very crisp Uber coming in from TLR there. I don't think he missed a shot. Like, every rocket hit was a direct and his shot, he's all on point. Uh, I think I've learned my lesson about watching anyone who isn't mix up on this mid, so I'm, I'm just going to keep my uh, my camera trained pretty thoroughly on the mix up players. I have my eyes on Enigma right now, getting that early aggression over on the red side, but he's going to back off, playing a bit more distraction, actually goes to bomb the medic, he's on the fragile and takes down with two quick rockets where he's getting picked off himself. Watching uh, TLR right now as he uh, tries to peek around this point, but he's a little super low on health. And I think, again, fully torqued, they can't really do much here. Sean, but going for playing the medic with TLR! With a huge air shot on him, but Siegel and Justin teaming up to sort of even things out here. And actually, the medics for both teams have gone down, but um, the Fragile is up now, whereas Harvard is still down for another five seconds, and this mid is actually going to go the way of fully torqued. Wow. That was a crazy developing mid, and Enigma had a really nice play on the Fragile early on, but the scout, Sean, but came from behind, and combined with the bombing soldiers from fully torqued, really made that play work for them, and now, uh... Fully Torqued have this mid. The Fragile's up at approximately the same time as Harblue. It's going to be even Ubers here. And uh, yeah, they won't be able to get into second point. Classic Mix have already got the respawners there. And they're actually, wow, uh, Fully Torqued are trying to make a move. Actually, happening here. They're trying to get out into this yard, but the bombing sword comes down. Enigma from above the, the uh, choke there drops down. Doesn't get much work done, but Platinum and Ruin pick off Justin and Pure. Super aggressive play. Almost like. Suicidal. A, a little desperate, and I don't like that at all. That definitely did not work. Because now they have a slight uber disadvantage, and they're they're on the back foot. They're going to lose uh, CP3 because of that. I, I thought, like, okay, Fully Torqued have this mid, you know, the, the spawners from Classic Mix Up came up so fast, though. And uh, I think they just underestimated how quickly they were going to get to mid. Or yeah, how, how quickly this they get map to does have very weird spawn times and forward spawn distances, and they catch a lot of players off guard. 
Mm. Zebra with a nice pick there at the choke to take down TLR, and it looks like Enigma's gonna fall behind uh, as Justin takes him down. It's two soldiers down there for classic mix-up, and Fully Torque wanna begin pushing their way in. Even Uber's here. Fully Torque need to take advantage of this pick while they can. Justin getting in clean on the flank. He has two free shots on the medic, forces him to pop with the first one. That is a massive Uber advantage in this fight now for the Fragile, who just now has popped his Uber on Seal. Seal's trying to fight the scout underneath, but this scout's doing a good job of distracting. That's YZ50. He is going to finally go down, though. And uh, Fully Torque is just going to be happy with capturing this point with that Uber. Mm, Not going to try to push that lock. On the flank, losing a 1v1 to Enigma. Enigma's going to bomb it here towards the second point and get great damage here on the Seagull before finishing him off with a crisp rocket. Meanwhile, uh, looks like Pure's in a lot of trouble here, down to 47 health, but takes down TLR with a sticky. Shamba chases into the yard and takes down Platinum. And uh, Fully Torque looking pretty good with the frag count here, but here comes Classic Mixup's combo. Out of the ramp, Enigma takes down Justin before YZ50 taking down Shanba there, and only Zebrian and the respawner up alive. Classic Mixup survived this mid. Now, I wonder if Zebrian's going to try to go for any kind of bomb uh, if Harblue decides to push through early. Although Zebrian has been spotted out now, so it'll be very hard for him to do that if he decides he wants to. But he's going to actually be engaged in a 1v1, trying to jump off the wall in midair there. But yeah, that's going to be uh, Control Point 2, all locked up for Mixup. YZ50 having a great game, really playing well off of Platinum's damage here, and uh, now we see Fully Torch setting up on last with a Perlander set up. Uh, one of each class there, Zebra on Pyro, Justin on Engineer, the scout coming in underneath. Uh, Ruin's gonna be leading the way as the sentry gun gets taken down, and they're just forcing the point. Scout's all over it, so much cap time here. I don't know if Fully Torch can handle this, and it looks like YZ50 on the point with Ruin, taking out all the players in Classic, makes up bring us to halftime. 3-0. That was an extremely quick half on a map that is notorious for being slow. Yeah, I... You know, Fully Torque picked this map thinking it would play into their favor, but Mixup have been doing so well on these mids, and they just roll it straight through. We haven't seen very much sec second point exchanges at all. Yeah, uh, I wonder if Fully Torque's gonna change anything, because towards the end there, they did have some okay mid fights, and they might think that, you know, oh, just keep doing what we're doing, we're figuring it out. Or I wonder if they're gonna say, no, this isn't working, we need to change something. Or then maybe try to run Justin as Sniper. I think they need to slow it down a little bit. Mixup's moving it just a little too fast and keeping that momentum going. And Mixup just keeps rolling it through and getting quick rounds. This is putting really far, uh, Fully Torque really far behind. Yeah, uh, I agree that they need to slow down a little bit. They've been rushing a couple pushes, although sometimes it's kind of worked to their benefit. They've been really, really scrappy and made good out of situations that looked quite dire in my opinion, but yeah, it, it's a double-edged sword. While it does let them make some plays, it sort of has also cost them some pretty easy holds and pushes. Alright, well the match is live in the second half here. This uh, this could be it here for Fully Torque. They're down three rounds to Classic Mixup. Mixup only need two more to finish out this series. Yes, yeah, on this mid, uh, I'm going to start with my eyes on Enigma. Try to do a bit of a skip jump to get aggressive on the uh, blue side, but no, Enigma's gonna get caught out by Justin, probably gonna drop down as Pure catches a pipe from Platinum, and that's two more players down for Mixup. Fully Torque has the upper hand in this fight, three to four right now in Fully Torque's favor. Uh, Seagull there ready to bomb in, try to fight this scout, help out his teammate, and that's Ruin gonna go down as uh, Platinum and Harblue back out. Harblue bailed on that mid so quickly. He realized the situation was going bad once Enigma went down early in the fight. He completely bailed, and then uh, Platinum joined him soon after. He's going to be able to preserve this uber, but Fragile has a significant lead here, and it looks like Zebra is actually making a play on the second point, or sorry, that's Seagull, actually all over Platinum, but doesn't get it to go. Justin follows through and takes down Platinum, that's a great trade for them there, but oh my gosh, Enigma from behind takes down the Fragile, I think he came out the drop deck. I correct me if I'm wrong here, like... Yeah, I, I, I didn't see that either, but what I did see was that as Seagull and Fragile were coming in with 93% uber, uh, Platinum actually disconnected Fragile from Seagull with two well-placed stickies. So Fragile couldn't finish building his uber, and Seagull couldn't get back, and that was sort of the beginning of the end for that push for Fully Torqued. Well, now Mixup have a nice uh, two-man advantage. The flank for Fully Torqued is down. It looks like they're having to turn around and clean up something behind here. They're going to be doing a push through the choke, or actually the combo is going to be coming out the flank. This is a little interesting play going on here, but Ruin is able to pick up a kill on a Justin. Looks like Seagull on the point is in trouble as well, goes down to YZ50, and the combo for Fully Torqued have completely backed themselves out of mid. Makes have got a nice little push. But, so, or that's YZ50 and Ruin, both aggressive through the choke here. YZ is going to go down to Z Bryant. They're trying to push that pressure a little bit too much and get caught out overextended. Yeah, Running but... From behind. A lot of people on Fully Target are still going down to this really coordinated spam from both sides. 
uh, from Mixup. Zebran bombing in, trying to make some kind of play, salvage any kind of kills uh, he can out of this, but he's not going to be able to make anything happen. It's just Seagull and Justin up now. Um, and Harblue is going to have Uber for this last push before Fragile even spawns. Although Seagull doing a good job. Seagull and Justin buying a lot of time here, but Harblue is 90% Uber. He wants to take it in with these scouts through the chariot strat. They're going to push it right in. Is there any kind of delay, any kind of saving plays that Fully Tort can do? The medic is on the play. He's got the needles up with the Uber. Gets popped with both scouts, and that is not going to be enough. That's going to be 4-0 uh, in Classic mix -over. Uh, this is not the score that I would have predicted for this match, but it's just going by so quickly. Fully Torqued are out of control here, and uh, if they don't do something, you know, crazy to stop Mixup, I don't know what is there anything they can do. Uh, yeah, it, it just seems like nothing Fully Torqued has done is being effective, but now we see Justin on the sniper, sitting in the big door. He's got bead on platinum, he really wants to get that Demo Man spam out of the equation for his team. Uh, Justin's still scoped in, trying to find something, trying to find a frag. He goes for the medic in midair, he's not able to pick him up though. Uh, Justin can't connect with these shots, and Fully Torqued is, is forced to back out of mid. Justin still trying to peek in and find an angle. Meanwhile, Enigma bombs into the choke and takes down the Demo Man. Pure three players down for classic mix er, for uh, fully torqued. There, Justin gets a pick onto Enigma. Seagull gets another one onto YZ in the lower lobby. And uh, fully torqued is still in this one here. Even Uber's the Uber is popped now by the Fragile to stop the second point. Harblue's back himself off safely. He's 90% there. His platinum looks like he's gonna get caught out in the yard. But still, Harblue's back himself off. He's gonna have this huge Uber advantage here, and he wants to bring TLR in. Yeah, they're actually going to pop in right now aggressively with uh, a soldier and a scout. Like I said, it was so good to do on this map. You get those Ubers in aggressive, you get them in fast, and Fragile is surely going to go down here to Tyler. Surely he is. No, he's No! Not. Tyler gets LG suspended by half of Fully Torqued while Fragile dances around like a madman, and we're going to see them starting to push in the mid with their numbers advantage. Their health isn't perfect, but it's certainly better oh. than Mix-Up. And that's enough for him to push on as Justin scopes in a little headshot on the horribly there. Yeah, really nice shot by him. Justin finally turning on the hacks and getting a couple good picks here. And now Fully Torqued have turned the tide. Uh, Fragile, uh, with the help of Zebra, it takes down Ruin at mid, and they have a two-man advantage still. Fragile now 90%. He's really close to getting Uber, and he needs to get it this time. Yeah, but Justin has uh, gone down right before the push, but that's okay, because TLR is down for the same amount of time. This is 44 with pretty even spawns. So Seagull coming in, he gets separated and actually dies midair. Oh my goodness, he got absolutely decimated. Uh, Pure managing to pick up Enigma on Bomb, but now we have Platinum playing very aggressively, doing a lot of damage here. He's going to go down to Pure as well. Tyler's trying to get back to his team as quickly as possible, as Pure and the Fragile kind of back out. But Zebrine coming in, oh. picking up two, and where is Justin? He's on Sniper, he's peeking the flank. I'm going to see if Justin can do anything. It's just Harblue and Enigma. Justin oh. finds Harblue, oh. he's not able to hit the headshot though. One more shot. No, he is not able to take it, Nick, but takes him down. But uh, the numbers are in favor of Fully Torqued. They're going to be able to cap this point. Harblue has an uber advantage, but it's slight. It's only 15%. I do not think it's enough for them to push out on. Yeah, really scrappy play from Classic Mix of throwing in one player at a time. Uh, first Enigma, then Platinum, and they're all going down. And that's what allowed Fully Torqued to take this point here. Now we see Classic Mix of setting up the last point. Ruin on Engineer, setting up a sentry on the top left side. Uh, and it's looking pretty good here for uh, Fully Torqued to finally take one of these rounds. Yeah, uh, uh, Classic Mixup has their Uber right now. Posturing a little bit aggressively is Tyler peeking that right uh, spot. <laughs> Actually, the combo Mixup holding in a bit of a weird area, holding on that pipe. Uh, yeah, the scared of Justin. Really, I can't say I've really seen this before, but yeah, I, I guess it's to avoid the sniper. It certainly is one way of doing it. The as bomb we comes watch in. And uh, Zebrian tries to go for that force, but gets taken down by YZ50. The level 2 sentry doing a nice job there, denying these bombers. Shambud's gonna go down here as well. It's a 6 on 4. Classic Mixup looking pretty good here, and they're actually trying to push out middle lobby lane. Yeah, um, as you said, two players down for fully torqued. Uh, Mixup's gonna try to take advantage of that, although this last point is so hard to push out of. The spawns for fully torqued are starting to come back up as Justin picks YZ50 and the Ubers are exchanged here. He's a much better Uber for fully torqued coming out. Seagull trying to shotgun down hard, but he can't quite get through the door. All those rollers were juggling him up against the door frame. But there's a lot down, and actually, um, he does go down. I, I must have missed it, and Fully Torque is going to go ahead and push him right now. They're going to try to take this. <laughs> There's a level 3 sentry behind the point, set up there by Ruin. That's able to hold up the scout, Sean, but down to just 4 health, hiding underneath, but he gets taken down finally by the sentry. Meanwhile, Justin, on sniper, body shots, Platinum takes him down before going down to a pill. Nice little trade going on there. Fragile still has the Uber advantage, and there comes these bombs into the middle of the lobby. Seagull goes down to YZ50. Nice finisher there from uh, Pure, though, to finish off YZ. 
It's gonna be the needle. Is this blade? Is this medics hunting medics? What is this? Oh my goodness! Harpoon coming in, trying to pick the fragile. He softens him up and gives gets, gets the assist with Enigma killing him. I'm not I'm not quite sure what's happening right now, but there's a huge fight going on in lobby, and Folio Torque seems to be getting the better of it. But Ruin has that sentry up still, defending the point. It's gonna be very hard to make anything happen on that without an Uber. Yeah, Pure had a lot of damage going on in that middle lobby. He got great frags and a great little air pipe there onto Enigma as well. Uh, the Ubers have sort of evened themselves out. Tilar is down for the count, but he's just getting up now. Ruin, meanwhile, still on NG, showing that Classic Mixup have no intention of pushing out of this. Yeah, and the Ubers are now even. Uh, both teams are just going to build up while Justin tries to get his pick, and Mixup tries to not get picked. Well, that TLR is, is actually going to get caught. Oh, just almost uh, gets caught there by Pure in the lobby down to 60 health, but able to back off. Away just safe and sound. Uh, meanwhile, Fragile hiding out in the yard. He's just content with building out his Uber out here. Yeah, a lot of players peeking pretty aggressively, and to the point where Fully Torqued has actually backed out almost entirely. Uh, I'm not sure if they're trying to metagame here, but they're mm -hmm. really far back considering the fact that Ubers are even and they actually have a slight advantage. I wonder if they thought they were at a big disadvantage or if they thought a push was coming and wanted to be prepared for it. Yeah, well, they do have Zebrine exploring the riverside here on the left and looking for any sort of weaknesses that he can find. Uh, with that level 3 sentry behind the point, though, he's going to have a hard time getting down there. Meanwhile, Sean Butt goes down in the middle lobby as Fully Torch is beginning to explore the left side river. And this is a dangerous situation for them. They're down Sean Butt plus Justin as a half a player on Sniper. And here comes Classic Mixup trying to make a, a push. Yeah, uh, Harblu and TLR are starting to peek out into that lobby, but they see those stickies going up and they back right off. This is a really tense situation here. Fully Torque need to make this push work. They can't afford to fail this. And Classic Mixup, meanwhile, sitting up four rounds. Uh, they're very comfortable here on last and very settled in. Justin getting a full charge body shot on Platinum, taking him down to about 100 health. He's trying to finish this kill as a pick on Platinum would be huge. It would let Fully Torque push in and take care of the sentry without having to worry about stickies. But two picks! Almost at the exact same time, Zebrine does go down, but that's still a numbers advantage for Fully Torqued. And if I were them, I'd try to take this push, even though Pure is a little bit hurt. But they have to worry about this sentry. Uh, Justin can see it in his wow. scope. I wonder if he's going to try to spam it down, but uh, here comes the Uber Force uh, for the Fragile. They're jump, jump, jumping in, trying to get that sentry. They they do get it down, but Shawbud goes down to Enigma. Fragile is so hurt, he has 7 health. He's surely going to go down underneath the point, but the cap is going. Siegel is on it, trying to duel... Uh, that's uh, that scout, but he's not able to take down Ruin as Zebrine and Justin are still in trying to make something happen. Zebrine oh! bombing the point, oh! and he takes it. Justin with a nice little surf there too to get some cap time on. But uh, wow, what a what a last play! A really weird exchange where uh, two players went down for mix up. Siegel did a great job of forcing Harblue before the Fragile, and they came in with that Uber. It looked pretty dire, but uh, yeah, they just came in. Z Brian got that last cap here, so now the score is 4 1. Classic mix up still in the lead, and here they are now, uh, rolling out very quickly and taking the high ground. Unbelievable. I just scared all my roommates, I'm sure, but I don't care because esports. We're watching this hit fight now. Um, it seems to be going very evenly. Hard to tell who's winning. A fragile goes down, but Platinum is also down. Those are kind of even. A numbers advantage as Enigma also goes down. Numbers advantage in favor of Fully Torqued. This is a scrappy mid fight. Uh, Pure goes down, but just as that happens, Ruin goes down, and it looks like Fully Torqued is getting the... the uh, I don't want to say the better end of this, I but think they're, so. they're winning for now, but you see Harblu survived. He is 75% Uber, and they're going to come back in. Uh, it's going to be up to you know, Zebrian, probably. Zebrian and Sean to get this early pop on Harblu. But here comes Justin peeking out the choke. And uh, he's looking for any sort of angle. Meanwhile, Harblue is actually coming out of the flank here, so Justin's a little bit out of position as Classic makes them want to push their Uber advantage through the uh, the big door. And uh, yeah, they're just taking it in here now. The soldier comes in behind and forces the Uber. Nice job there by Z. Brian Siegel's going to go down, and Justin, all three players there down now. And this is looking pretty bad for Foley Torque. Yeah, as Platinum actually bombs in and catches the Fragile out, he's going to go down. Uh, Pure is corralled all the way back into his lobby. Uh, Shamba gets taken down by Enigma. Justin coming up on Sniper. He's in the forward spawn. If anything is going to save this game, it, it might be him. He's Justin in the back actually forced the back spawn, yeah. Uh, this is really not the best situation now for Fully Torque. They're down three rounds. Uh, Classic makes up have a slight uber advantage, but nothing significant. But, uh... I mean, it's going to be difficult for them to get out this last, and as we talked about, this is one of the slower maps. Even though it's been progressing quickly, it's going to be difficult for Fully Torque to push out of this. Yeah, um, this uber advantage that Mixup has is not that significant. It's definitely defendable. 
Uh, you can bait that last 20% charge out while their Uber is entering, uh, for sure. I've done it many, many times. Uh, but we just see the teams getting ready. They have a level 3 sentry up built by Zebrian, actually. Uh, and as the Uber comes in, TLR taking this, trying to spam down that sentry. He lands a bunch of rockets in it, but not able to take it down. The level 3 sentry is still up. And if you do not kill that sentry with a push, it's probably going to Uber. Fragile just got it. it is and now your mic's cutting out here. Three players down for mix up, one player down for fully torqued. I start trying to put, but Enigma takes down Z. A huge. As Justin. Enigma. Yeah, Lang, your mic's cutting out real bad, so I'm just gonna take it away from here. Uh, the Uber, the, that Uber push from Classic Mixup didn't really work out for them. Uh, still, Fragile is able to counter Uber and save that, and actually they're trying to get some cap point here now. Uh, but Kira takes down Platinum before going down himself. Kilo is grabbing some more frags as Wisey gets another one onto Sean, but Fully Torqued are desperately trying to capture the second point here. It's a three on four as Seagull grabs that final pick onto YZ50. The Uber saw a battle, and Harblu is able to get himself an Uber here. He pops onto uh, Enigma, who's trying to find, find the Fragile. He does get him down behind the point. Seagull down to 85. He's dancing around, trying to finish this cap, and actually does finish it off. I can't believe a Seagull just grabbed that cap there, now getting taken back by Enigma. That's going to save them a little bit of time, but Harblu is still alive, and the Fragile went down, and that's what matters here. Mixup are going to have a large Uber advantage, and uh, with two players down for, for Fully Torque, they're in a lot of trouble here now at last. Justin switching over to Pyro, recognizing the situation. Uh, but a classic mix-up looking really good here now with a 40% advantage. Am I still lagging? I hope you're okay. Oh, uh, let, let, let me know if I lag. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we see mix-up. Yeah, it's lagging. A... Oh, oh, just, no. just keep going, Slyn. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. Yeah, Ruin's actually switching over to Heavy here, so they're preparing for what could be the final push match point here for the series. As, uh, looks like Justin switches over to Spy, but it's not gonna be up in time. The Uber comes in for Classic Mixup. They're swarming the point. Seanbud's gonna go down. Seagull gets one, and Justin picks up a kill onto Ruin from behind. Nice little Spy play there, a 4 on 3. Fully Torqued are still in this one. Z Brian on Heavy takes down YZ, and another Spy pick. He takes down Platinum. Great plays there from Justin. Harblue, the only one alive. He makes it out. The Fragile goes down in that exchange, but Fully Torqued should be able to push out of this and get this cap down. Unbelievable Spy play from Justin. Even though they knew that he was a Spy, he was still able to pick up another one onto Platinum, who was trying to spam that point down. And uh, Fully Torqued just survived just a little bit longer here now. This is exactly what they need. So, looks like uh, Justin here still playing Spy, and he's actually wandering around mid. He's getting behind the enemy combo there, and he's trying to face stab Harblue. He goes down right away to a Platinum Pipe, and uh, looks like it's a 5-on-5 five five here, as Harblue has a 20% advantage. He got out of Last Alive, if you can recall. And uh, another pick goes down here, Enigma goes. And uh, Fully Tork playing pretty far back despite their one-man advantage. They're just really concerned about losing this round and making any sort of uh, fail push that would cost them. It looks like the Ubers will even themselves out here as well with the spawns. Justin switching over to Sniper, which is a bit of a questionable play uh, considering you know defensive Sniper. But Gully Watch has that really long sightline and Justin is using it right now to try and get an angle on the Platinum who's spamming pipes right back at him. Uh, meanwhile, Classic makes up know that there's a sniper, so they're just gonna push right away in through the flank. Here comes Harblu actually pushing through with the scout, and Ruin is all over. Justin takes him down right away, but Fragile still holding tightly onto that Uber on the choke. He actually pushed himself into mid, and they use the Uber to uh, wrap this point, and they're starting a lot of cap time. The thing about Gully Wash is that the middle point caps exactly the same time as the second point, and they're actually gonna get this middle cap down before Classic Mixo can get it. This back cap is going to work after all. Fully Torque moving the way very quickly towards the second point here, getting a lot of cap time. Mixup's in a lot of trouble. Fully Torque can turn this one around. Mixup desperately trying to get back to the second point. They're not gonna make it in time, and uh... And Pure goes down here to Platinum who bombs in, but Pure takes down Platinum with a nice fight. It's still 5-on-5, five 5-on-4 five, five on now, as Mixup trying to pull back to their lap. Can they save this? Oh, this is so scrappy. Fragile going down to Enigma, 4-on-3. Harblue staying alive without this ex throughout this entire exchange. And, oh wow, Harblue goes down to a Justin play there, but YZ50 able to clean that up and just barely, <gasps> barely, barely, barely save that round. Blank, please save me. I can't talk that fast. Am, am, I, am I still lagging? You're good, you're good. Hopefully, hopefully this keeps up. Still down for a few more seconds. No! Yeah, Go. Lang is still lagging, and so uh, I'm just gonna deal with the solo cast and try and breathe. Meanwhile, Justin, uh, playing Sniper once again, holding tightly onto mid. Even Uber's here. Uh, that that backhat play, though, saved fully torque this round. Uh, they're able to hold onto middle, 
and just drag this out a little bit longer. They're down three rounds, but they need to make this work. Justin gonna go over to the flank and see if he can get any sort of angles here. Uh, Platinum's hiding out behind the point, so he might be able to find him. Justin's actually extended out really far, but there's nobody there to contest him. All of Classic Mixup is hiding up on that upper area with Platinum on the ground, spamming pipes over at Justin. He's also got a sticky trap on the flank as well. Uh, Fully Torque really can't afford to push without Justin getting a pick, so they're just gonna keep trying to make something happen, and Classic Mixup know this, so they're just playing on the high ground. And this might actually allow Fully Torque to move in through here if they wanted to. Platinum's got so many stickies, if you guys can see that, all over the place in the, on the flank. He just dead them though, uh, on a blind death. And Justin still, he has so much presence on that flank. He's such a respectable sniper that Classic Mixup don't even want to get anywhere near those sight lines. Uh, and actually, that's going to allow Shamba to dip into the lower lobby here. Uh, yeah, Shamba's gonna pursue that after all. He's actually getting behind uh, into the last point, almost kind of exploring the lower lobby. He's gonna fight a 1v1 against the scout, but uh, he's in trouble here now. He's actually stuck behind the enemy team as Enigma picks off Justin the sniper. This is really bad now. Shamba's gonna go down behind the enemy team. Two players down now, both scouts dead for fully torque. And Classic Measel can make a move off the Z Brian. Nice little pick there at the choke to take down Enigma. But here comes the scout actually behind. Yeah, oh, well, Pyrrha with a trap there. This anticipates Ruin coming in and grabs that pick. Four on four now as the Ubers are exchanged. Fragile with a signal. Significantly better Uber here as Pure gets another pipe kill onto TLR. Harblue goes down as well, and this is looking very good for Fully Torque. Two players live for Classic Mixup. It's just Platinum and YZ50 with the Enigma respawning. But Fully Torque able to, despite that little weird two player down play, uh, we're able to turn it around. Please, Lang. I don't know, man. I, I keep getting trolled. I always ask if it's okay, and then it is, and then it's not. <sighs> well, uh, the Fragile has a 20% uber advantage as Classic Mixup playing on Heavy. Uh, ruins, yeah, just exploring that lower lobby there and actually getting decent damage on the Justin, but doesn't finish him off, and that's actually going to cost him. He overextends and gets picked off by Seanbud and Zebrian. That's going to be the opening pick that Fully Torque need to go, but uh, they don't have the uber quite yet. 85% just a couple seconds away from getting it. Uh, Ruin is equally a couple seconds away from respawning here, so that, that advantage is going to go away, but still Harblue, 70%, uh, he had to buff all his players up and um, worried about a, a push. And looks like Z Brian is actually behind the point, gets a pick on a YZ50 and a decent amount of cap time onto the last point. Here comes the Fragile though, he has that uber advantage and they want to make this push happen now. Uh, they're not going to go for it though. Mm, this is difficult, it's still 5 on 5. Justin trying to find angles to snipe, but really not finding much after all. And this is just going to even out once again. You know, it's difficult. Yeah, um, oh. I, I'm, I'm going to give it a try, Slim. Uh, we haven't seen Justin hit too many headshots on Sniper this game. He said a few, but Ad has that, Pure has that rule where it's uh, three strikes and you're out. Uh, uh, maybe maybe it's not working for Justin. Maybe he's not feeling it, this LAN. Uh, uh, sniper is definitely a three of on and off days, but uh, we see uh, D. Bryant going in for the bomb once more, but as that happens, uh, the Fragile's Uber is popped, and Seagull's going to try to make something happen with this. It's actually Harblue who's forced to pop his Uber, but they're going to start to move up and try to dump thing a little bit aggressive with this. <laughs> Managed to pick, pick Justin, up, who is way overextended, and uh, now there's three or four members of Fully Torched up in that riverside, and they're going to spam just so hard, and they're going to get forced out as uh, Shambot goes down. A little, uh, uh, interesting little exchange, Justin getting caught out there and not getting the memo as Classic Mixup Zebra. begins their push out. And yeah, he's Zebra. all over the point! Right he behind. picked Ruin! He has the page right from the top two, and he gets the cap! Zebrian went huge. Channeling the spirit of one Sam Oplayed Lingle, the legendary backcapper of days gone by. Fully Torqued are keeping the dream alive here. They're down 4-2, Classic Mixup still in the lead. They're clawing their way back from that 4-0 deficit. And Fully Torqued are gonna need to make something happen here at the choke. A scout rushing the demo man pure at the choke though. YZ50 gets that pick. And this is gonna be trouble for Fully Torqued's mid, but Shamba gets another one onto YZ50. Justin still trying to find angles on the flank and not really getting much at all, but Seagull gets down Ruin. Fragile and Z Brian here, this is devastating. They're down, and uh, Shamba is caught at the choke. He's gonna get cornered here by TLR. And, uh... With Harblu still alive and this capture time going down for mix-up, uh, this is looking pretty bad once again for Fully Torque. Justin trying to kukri chop medic down there. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out. Harblu now has about 80% uber advantage over the Fragile, and they're going to just, they're already capping his point, so they're going to be able to use this uber to cap uh, the final point, probably, or at least have a push attempt. 
Yeah, they're gonna try for it. Fully Torque need to get some off-classing going on. They're actually doing a forward hold here. Pierce got Siggy's on the door. And they just saw the combo come in for a uh, classic minces, so they're backing their way up. Nice little stall move there, but it's not gonna be enough. Fragile only at 45% as Pure takes down Enigma with a nice trap on the right side. The Boober is in. TLR takes down the Fragile. This is gonna be it here, folks, as Ruin picks off Pure. So many players down. It's a two on three mix up in the lead. The Pyro on the point is trying his best to hold that one off, but the cap time goes down, and classic mix up take the series two to zero. Five to two on this map. CP Gullywash and Lang, what happened there, buddy? Um, I don't know, just. Fully Torqued couldn't, they couldn't make their things work for them. They had things that they want to do, their game that they want to play, and Mixup was just shutting it down. Fully Torqued was, like, constantly forced to play, like, adaptive and reactionary. They couldn't really directly influence the field in a way that they kind of had to just take what Mixup gave them. But the fact that Sniper was working is, you know, just further proof of that. They, they, they couldn't play their game. Yeah, very difficult. Uh, still, you know, after down 4-0, they had a really nice attempt taking two rounds back. Looking at the stats here now, uh, no major um, medic mistakes here, but we do see that classic mix-ups uh, platinum at 8,200 damage. But look at, look at Enigma. He, on Roamer, did more damage than his demo man with just close to 8,400 uh, damage in that match. Uh, That's you know, really crazy. It's, it's very impressive. I, yeah. I think it really came down to those mids, though. Enigma was just jumping around and doing so much work. Uh, and also really did a nice job on the flank. I saw him win a couple 1v1s against Z. Brian. But, yeah, um, definitely an impressive showing from some of these land rookies. Uh, Sean Bud, you know, especially that one Badlands match where he played out of his mind. Z. Brian, uh, th this match time to shine. Uh, so good, good job to them. Of course, I'm extremely biased, but don't care. I'm proud of them. They're my teammates, my friends. Good job. Uh, but tomorrow we're going to see classic mix-up versus HR in the grand finals. It's 10:30 a.m. Central Time, and your commentators for that will be C Bear and JC, the legends themselves. But uh, for, uh, uh you're cutting out here, Lang, so I'm just going to take it over. Uh, tomorrow, again, uh, in the morning, 10.30 Central will be the grand finals for the ESEA LAN live from Dallas, Texas. Uh, classic mix up the number two seed coming out of the lower bracket finals to face uh, High Rollers Gaming, the undefeated, haven't dropped a single map team. Uh, yeah, HRG are definitely the team to beat. A lot of people had classic mix-up going into this land, but HRG is showing that they have what it takes. Uh, and this is going to be quite the match tomorrow. I mean, it was so close today. 5-4 on uh, Snake Water, and then... Oh god, I can't remember the other score. It was 5-1 on Snake Water, and then a really nice win there on um, Badlands for, for HRG. But still, uh, HRG, the team to beat. So we're going to see tomorrow who's going to go to the I-49 land. And that'll be casted by Seabear and DJC. So for everyone here today, thank you so much for watching. We maintained a steady 2,000 viewers plus uh, the entire day, 12 hours of TF2 casting. We just finished barely on time. And uh, thank you guys for staying patient uh, throughout our technical difficulties. But for everyone here, uh, thank you so much. My name is Mr. Slynn, joined by Lang. Truck Truck was our cameraman. And uh, thanks to Ips and Yo! all of our chat mods. Ips, are you here right now? I'm here. I want you to say goodnight to everyone, what? I was listening all night long. <laughs> From Europe. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow.